Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very well. So in today's video I am going to be testing out something I've been anticipating for quite a while. Um, I'm testing out the new Beauty Bay palette which is called the Wilderness palette. Um, if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time you know that I absolutely love Beauty Bay and I love their makeup and especially their eyeshadow palette. So when I heard that they were coming out with a green eyeshadow palette this was like another level for me because I have been absolutely obsessed with uh, green eyeshadows of recently. Um, and so yeah, I purchased this on Sunday I believe and I waited for it to come on Monday but there were delays um, with, I think it's like DPD or whoever delivers it, Hermes, that's it. Um, and it turned up on Tuesday but today is Friday so I haven't had any time to actually film and upload this video because I've been very busy like my cousin's getting married tomorrow so I've been doing lots of other things but um yeah let's talk a bit about the palette so this is the wilderness palette let me show you inside um so yeah this is kind of like one of my favorite type of palettes for me it's like a really great color story you've got the reds you've got lots of greens and blues so it's a big combination of shades that I like it is 20 it's sorry it's 20 shades I was about to say it's 20 pounds it's not 20 pounds it's 20 shades but I believe it's like 16 pounds which is pretty damn good um, when you think about it some of their other palettes are such a wide array of no, ages <laughs> no they're a wide array of prices but I think for something like 20 pounds 16 pounds that means that it's less than one pound per pan and in all honesty I have never had any issues when it comes to a Beauty Bay palette um, so I'm really excited to try that today let me just show you guys the outer packaging it's nothing that insane but it's um yeah it's kind of got like a spider web on there which is pretty nice and then on the back it just says reconnect with mother nature with the wilderness palette inspired by all the rich earthy tones leafy greens and molten shades that nature has to offer us okay this is a 20 shade palette features wearable hues while still allowing you to explore your creativity okay feature the same featuring the same beauty bay formula you know and love each shade is full of pigment and is super blendable and lasts all day without fading so I mean when I have tried their previous eyeshadows like I said I have never had any issues they've obviously had their collaboration with Nikki Tutorials which I think a lot of people are very hit and miss about I really like it I think it's an absolutely gorgeous palette it's it is a weird selection of shades when you try and do like some kind of color story but they're really pigmented for me and they have their own palettes as well they have their brights palettes they have their 42 pan palettes but anyway you get the gist if you're a fan of beauty babe you'll know what i'm talking about so again we are testing this out today i am going to be using the green shades i'm going to start with my eyes first because i'm going to do my um rest of my face off camera just to save a bit of time so i am going to go in with my trusty prime up brush I do wash these so I don't just have like a million of them it kind of seems like I use one every video but I wash them I have about two or three of them so I am gonna start off with uh, forest which is just here and I'm gonna take this on this brush of course and you can see it's picked up a lot of products I don't have anything on my eyes you guys know I like to sometimes put on a base or not a base so today was not a base day because I just wanted to see what it's like without it so giving it a bit of a fair chance so straight away it's um pretty pigmented <laughs> cool all right so forest is a nice blend I'm not going to try and do anything too like super insane because um, I have work <laughs> after and they'll probably just be like what are you doing why are you dressed up so extravagantly to be at home but then they all know I have a channel so I'm just kind of like yeah it's for my channel blah 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 they're like ah okay <laughs> so yeah I wish I'd filmed and uploaded this earlier but I have not had a chance to film because my husband's been home this week and it's been a bit difficult because I don't like filming um, in our bedroom anymore because like it's just really awkward space so any opportunity that I would get to film in this section 
um, it just looks so much nicer because having my bedroom behind me just doesn't feel right it doesn't look right when I have this behind me so I'm gonna go in with eucalyptus which is one of my favorite words I love that word it's so strange and because I love koala bears it's a really nice dark green actually it's kind of like a khaki green um, and that's gonna go in the inner corner just upwards and blending out um, yeah I love I love the wilderness I'm a big fan of plants I wish I could have more plants in my flat but I literally have nowhere to put anything um, my husband got me flowers for our anniversary I don't even know where to put them I had to put them by the windowsill and every time I have to close the blinds I literally have to take off like 20 things off my windowsill to <laughs> to um, close the blinds because there's just our flat is so small there's nowhere to put anything but one day I will have a garden and then I can have all the flowers, all the plants. But no, I think the like nature is just, it's just a beautiful thing. Like I, I love looking at plants and that's such a weird thing to say, but a lot of people have gotten into plants. I think because of like the lockdown and just wanting to just look after something, feel responsible or something. But plants do need kind of a lot of care when you think about it. Um, I'm gonna go in now. Should I go in with some of the blue? No, that's a bit too dark. Um, I'm going with ivy. So it's a darker green just here. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, about like, look, I know a lot of people probably just don't wanna <laughs> take responsibility for something, but I feel like a lot of people buy plants a lot to just have a like, you know, just color in their room and just something really nice. Um, so yeah, I wish I had more plants, I wish I had a garden, um, but alas, one day. So, so far, everything is coming out really nicely. I never judge my look until I put on a full face because then I'll know if I like it or not. Because I recently have been doing all these looks and I think, oh, they look really terrible. And most of the time they are. But then when I add the rest of my look, everything comes out quite nicely. So. I am gonna just go in with um, going back in with forest and just adding a little bit more because it's fade not faded but it's kind of overpowered by some of the shades and then now I'm gonna go in with a shimmer and so I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and I feel like going in with moss which is just here it's kind of more of a greeny blue which is fine um, ooh, I'll see how it works on a brush. I can't, my nails are like, I have fancy nails. Okay, okay. I mean, I knew, I knew something was coming with the shimmer. <laughs> um, yeah, I have my nails done because it's my cousin's wedding tomorrow and I thought I need to start, I need to make some effort in my older age and plus I like getting things to pamper myself. These are basically just stick on nails that I've had for ages and they have like these adhesive stickers on the back and it just took like five minutes to do they basically there's like a little uh, peel bit peel thing on the back and you just take it off and then stick it on your nail genius absolute genius so I'm hoping to keep these on for a few days because it oh my god they're not too bad why do I always do that <laughs> it's like wacky all over my face um, okay, yeah, this shade is absolutely insanely gorgeous. I love it. So, that is kind of what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to go off camera, do the rest of my face because I'm going to clean this up and make it look a bit more presentable so when I come back, I will have a full face of makeup. Okay, and I'm back with a kind of full face of makeup. I literally just picked on picked like put on like the quickest thing ever but yeah this is my finished look I absolutely love this palette in my inner corner actually I forgot to mention I have up I have used the shade breeze so it's a kind of a lighter it is kind of like a bluey kind of green which is nice and yeah if you want to know what else I'm using I will always leave it in the description um what can I say I've there was no surprises. I knew I was gonna love this palette. Um, I saw the swatches online. I've seen a couple of reviews. Um, 
and it's a winner so I am really happy that I picked this up. I still do have a couple of Beauty Bay uh, palettes to purchase but um, I'm very happy with this one. Let me know if you have tried it. Um, I want to say quickly like thank you to quite a few people who have subscribed recently. I'm almost at 150 which I am so happy about because 50 has come by really quickly which I'm extremely grateful for and I'm just going to keep on going because we'll just see where we go um but yeah I want to thank you guys for that um but yeah if you are not subscribed please do um but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe again because I film and upload every time I get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'll have a closer look of this look and I think I'm going to keep on doing these really kind of short videos because I feel like they'll maybe get a lot more people in watching them because they're just nice and short and to the point so yeah thank you guys um i hope you're having a really good week and i hope to see you in the next one bye